And it's green for go here at the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup, Leger. Haute Savoie, Samara Maxwell in the UCI World Champions jersey off the line well. But it is Sophie Heavy Pedersen in the overall points leader's jersey, the red and white alongside her, who's in the lead as they head up the climb for the first time. And I think it was Burry missed the pedal at the start. Yeah. Someone got something, I think it was Nicole Burry. And there's a pile up in the middle of the pack, the bottom of your screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things just getting congested off the line, Ollie. Just goes to show just how wide it is that there's still room for riders to come together. And Samara Maxwell taking it on. There's this two lines going up. One on, we saw on the short track, really important. It looks like that right line that they've all decided is a little faster. But this first climb, we want to get that. It's so technical at the top of here that... Monroe hanging in there with them. It's now Blurtlinger, who's doing the work out front. But again, it's... Maxwell's, compared to the riders around her, Maxwell's just struggling a little bit on some of these technical aspects. Ronja Blertlinger dipping the elbows, bringing the hands in towards the stem, tapping the watts on, four to go. <laughs> Sophie Heavy Patterson, she's got that face back, she's got that poker yep. face back, she's looking strong. See Madigan Monroe, the reigning US national champion, fourth bike there on your screen, just being distanced now from this pack at the front, and that is what that pace of Samara Maxwell on the climb is designed to do, just to separate the riders one by one. And Pedersen, next one to get jettisoned. Pedersen, yeah, looks like she needs to get a move on. Samara Maxwell turning on the pain here in Leger, Haute Savoie. A 12, 28. And Blockliger now got the front and the gap. She, last time she closed two or three seconds to Maxwell. By, by staying in there, she's now going to gap her by three seconds. And now the tables turn. Four seconds now. Four seconds. So this is more like it from Blurtlinger. We've seen her fight her way to the front of races over the course of the year, then start to move backwards, but she looks like she's got the legs yeah. today. This is her going past Samara Maxwell. What do you, uh, what are the tactics here if you're Maxwell now, Ollie? Do you, do you let her go and hope she'll burn herself out and come back towards her later in the day? Because we know that Samara Maxwell is extremely strong yeah. at the back end of races. But even though it's, it's so subtle, but the tables have turned just that little bit towards Blocklinger. So before it was Maxwell would get the gap and Blocklinger would have to use her downhill skills to close it back up. Yeah, Blocklinger just settling into her own pace. Just got to tap out her rhythm. Keep her breathing, her heart rate under control. We say Not go too deep and then just use that technical skill just to try and close back up again. We say it every week as well. It's racing bicycles off-road. Anything can happen and usually does. Carter Woods, the man we just mentioned, won that race in Val de Sole Trentino after Luca Martin, who led it from start almost to finish. Double flat on the last lap and Woods took the victory. So you're only ever one minute second of... Lap of laps of concentration from the rider in front of you away from being a few positions higher up. Oh, Madigan Monroe into the tech zone. And that is a seat post issue. Ollie spotted it last lap. Bluetooth controlled that dropper seat post. So looks like it's stuck in the up position. Just slip wide. We're going to see a replay off and now. Oh, front end just went and the bike gets tangled up. She gets tangled up in that course marking netting. Samara Maxwell on her way down to the finish line. Well, she won in Glen Tress Forest, the UCI World Championships. She's going to win here in Haute Savoie Leger. Samara Maxwell can't believe it. What a performance. Takes the golf swing. I don't even know what you would call that. Samara Maxwell wins in Leger. An absolutely superb performance start to finish with a bit of drama at the end. Class, class cross country racing from Samara Maxwell. Taking the win in France. Ronja Blertlinger, she won the short track on Friday evening, happy with that performance today. Ultimately couldn't live with the pace of the Kiwi on the climbs. Second place for Blertlinger. And, and that's her, obviously her first World Cup win, the confidence that gives her. You know, she won Huge. the world, almost a bit of a surprise. Uh, and you might think that that was almost not a fluke, you know, but it's... You don't think, well, can I do it again? 
for now. She's just smashed it. Means so much now. That's now two wins. It's normal. And she'll be heading off now thinking, well, that's going to be a load more of these coming. Well, she's won the race to the champion brunch as well. Let's get those results then. It was Maxwell by 24 seconds from Blurklinger in the end. Kaluri, Heavy Patterson, Monroe, Holibova, Garnier, Burry, Johnson, and Durafor. And Zina Van Thiel was 11th. Lip, Trinska, Benoit, Baum, Cravania. Here's confirmation off the overall in. Sophie Heavy Patterson still leads, but now it's just by 52 points from Ronya Blurtlinger. Samara Maxwell, 142 points back in third. Then Bury, Kaluri, Garnier, Van Til, Monroe, Johnson, Corton Novus. But that gap at the top, just 52 points now with two races left to play for. Ronya Blurtlinger fancies a fight at the end of 2023.